Well, a new study shows Pulaski County has some of the worst numbers in the state when it comes to children's health. And that's why a handful of organizations have come together to form a Healthy Citizens Action Team, and that team just received a two-year grant from the Virginia Foundation of Unhealthy of Healthy Youth. Rather, WSOS 10's Bethany Teague explains how the money will be used. Our obesity rates are through the roof. 24% of Pulaski County children are considered clinically obese. We see it every day. I mean, we see kids making bad choices, even when they come up to the Y. Bad choices that have Pulaski County ranked 112th out of 134 Virginia counties in overall health. Well, on average, our students here in Pulaski County are watching at least three hours of television each night. That's why 12 local organizations have joined forces to create the Healthy Citizens Action Team. They just received a $60,000 grant to launch a war on obesity, a war they say must be fought on many fronts. Our goal is to be broad in our reach and to change habits. The money will help the YMCA hire a new staff member to launch a family education program. This will teach kids and adults about exercise, healthy eating, and even grocery store shopping. Parents have a big role in deciding what the kids are eating nutritionally. The Y will also create a community garden to benefit Section 8 housing residents. On the school site, organizers will expand the farm to school program. This will give kids more access to healthy, locally grown choices. The hope is to also extend local options to entire families by creating a SNAP benefits program at the farmer's market. As access to food, nearly a quarter of the population here in Pulaski County live in poverty. The Virginia County health rankings come out every year. This group says if Pulaski County moves up from its ranking of 112th, it will consider the program a success. In Pulaski, Bethany T, WSLS 10.